Among those in attendance tonight for the women's high jump competition is Margaret Bergman, once a national champion in this event, but at her prime, in a country being taught to hate, her athletic credentials were made irrelevant. It was the Olympic summer of 60 years ago, an uncertain time. A young German athlete awaited word of her fate. I sat there every day waiting for some kind of notification. Am I in? Am I out? The uh, letter came dated on the 16th of July. Uh, they told me on the, that day that uh, according to your recent performances, uh, I'm sure you, you did not uh, figure on being a member of the team because you were too inconsistent or you weren't good enough or whatever. And uh, Heil Hitler, that was it. Inconsistent? Hardly. In 1936, Margaret Bergman was the best female high jumper in Germany, the reigning national champion the winner of the Olympic trials. But Bergman was also Jewish, in a society that was swiftly moving from synagogue burnings to Holocaust. The Olympics were to be a showcase for Aryan supremacy, not Jews. I think the, the main reason why I was so upset was that I wanted to show what a Jew could do at that point. I think sports at that point was furthest from my mind. It was like a revenge that I wanted to, to embarrass Hitler. I wanted to embarrass the whole Nazi gang. And I think that was my main motivation. And of course, I, after I got the letter, I felt horribly cheated. And I still feel cheated at this, uh, to this day. Hitler's Olympics went on without her. Bergman has no memory of a high jump competition she might have won, nor of the rest of the games. What she does remember is the fear Jews felt in the months that followed, and how old friends shunned her in the streets. Within a year, she'd fled Germany. The day I left Germany, I saw my mother, my father, on the platform of the train. I was looking out the window. I had a brother, 12 years old. He was running around, hiding, crying, screaming, why do I have to uh, lose everybody that I love so much? And uh, we all tried not to break down because we were so sure there were a bunch of Nazis standing around being happy that a Jewish family was suffering. So we all tried, except my brother, of course, uh, we tried to keep our composure. But at that moment, I swore to myself I would never set foot on German soil again, and I kept that. Bergman moved to New York, where she has lived since. In Germany, her story was all but forgotten. Then in 1995, the mayor of Laufheim dedicated a school in her name. Though she refused to break her vow and return for the ceremony, she was moved by the gesture. A second offer followed, and for the past two weeks, she and her husband have been in Atlanta as official guests of the German delegation, which has treated her like a dignitary. 60 years later, at age 82, Bergman finally has Olympic memories and the chance to heal a lingering wound. Back in 1936, Bergman jumped five feet, three inches, which, as it turned out, was the gold medal winning height at the Berlin Games. The women's world high jump record 60 years later is six feet, 10 inches. More high jump to come, but the women's 1500 is next when we come back to Atlanta.